update on Baloo. So if you've not seen our other videos, Baloo is our adopted uh, dog and um, we've had him for three months now. So I did an update after a month um, and I thought I'd do a three month update. This will probably be like maybe the last one I do, maybe I might do a six month or like a one year update. Um, but yeah, he sat with me here. Say hello to the people. Here he is. Yeah, he's a good boy. He's got this little Halloween bandana on that he got when he went to get groomed. So I've made some notes and I thought I would just let you know how he's doing. So overall, he's been doing really, really well. Um, he's just settled in more and more over the past couple of months. And, you know, it just feels like we've had him forever. Um... Yeah, he's totally fitted in right at home with us and he is definitely like at the start he was definitely like a mummy's boy he would like stick to me like the whole time he still does follow me around the house um like if i go upstairs he'll come after me like um he still like whines a little bit if i leave him um but he's definitely grown into also like being a daddy's boy as well. Um, he loves to get Darren up in the middle of the night um, and like want to play with him. He'll like, like literally stand with all fours on top of him and like try and wake him up. He constantly licks him. Um, he doesn't really lick anyone else. Um, like he'll like give like me or like my mum the occasional lick but like Darren he will constantly try and lick him like all over um I can only assume it's like a comfort thing comfort thing and like he's really excited to be with him and yeah he just loves Darren and he he's totally become like 50 50 now between us sort of like loving us equally I guess um, he still is obsessed with the tennis ball, that's still, I'd say, overall one of his favourite things. But his other favourite thing has been his new bunny rabbit that we got from Asda. He will literally take this thing everywhere with him. He, um, loves to take it to bed, he'll just, like, sleep and, like, sleep with his head on it. Like, he loves it. Like, he loves this little thing. Where is it? Of course, he's, like, got no interest in it now. What is it? Is it bunny? And yeah, so like we've been going for like a sleepover at my mum's tonight and we'll be taking this with us. Um, he just loves like it and he's not really torn it apart like any of his other toys but he just like will sit and lick it and yeah, it's gross. It probably needs a wash. So as far as sort of like leaving him, he's got a lot better at us leaving him. And at the start it was pretty much impossible to leave him on his own. He would just like whine constantly we tried we tried everything like different toys different um like feeding things to keep him occupied we left the radio on um we left him like just in the kitchen and then we let him have the room the house like we tried so many different things and nothing seemed to work and then my mother-in-law stayed with us and she brought along her labrador and you know he's really good at being left on his own um so we tried to you know obviously leave him and my mother-in-law's dog and you know at the start he would cry and then he sort of learned that jet her dog wasn't you know he wasn't creating he wasn't bothered that we'd left him because he obviously knew we were coming back um and he sort of just learned that okay this is fine and he would just take himself off to bed um and you know that was it we had um we got like a ring doorbell um to like put in our kitchen and at the top of the stairs um so we could like keep an eye on him see what he was doing and he would just take himself off to bed he was fine um, and then since, like, my mother-in-law has gone back home, um, we've tried leaving him, obviously, on his own, and most of the time he is fine. Again, he'll just take himself off to bed. We leave him with his Kong toy with some treats in it, um, and he's fine. He does occasionally whine, um, and that's good that we've got, like, the camera so we can sort of, like, keep an eye on him, um, but yeah occasionally i don't know what it is whether he hears something outside he will whine and yeah so 
we're still working on it but he has got a lot better at being left on his own and when i say left on his own it's only for like a couple of hours it's not a lot um if i know that i'm going to be out most of the day usually um i will take him over to um like usually it's because i'm with my mum um and so we will go over to hers and usually like either my dad's there well actually yeah so far we've only left him like with my dad and her dogs we've not tried it just with her dogs yet um because of like lockdown and everything um there's not really been much places we can go um so yeah he has definitely been improving on like being left on his own for short periods of time so since uh my last video he has had his first groom with us um and when um he first went to Battersea which is where we got him from um I will leave a card up if you want to see um I've done a couple of videos so I will link the playlist um about you know us adopting him and I did like vlogs of when we got him and that sort of thing um but yeah when he went to Battersea he was really um his fur was really overgrown it was matted I don't think his last carers got him groomed that often um so he was cut really really short and when you look at older photos he is cut super short he has he looks more poodly um and that's another thing I will talk about in a minute um but yeah so we've obviously grown him out since then um and about the start of October I think we got him groomed um so yeah like it would have been maybe like two two and a half months um of grow out and um yeah because he was so short he could go that little bit longer um and he did get pretty long um i would like brush him in between so he wasn't getting matted or anything um and yeah he went to the groomers i was a little bit nervous about taking him to the groomers um because obviously i didn't know how he was going to react they said they did have to muzzle him at battersea but obviously since then you know he's really warm to people touching him and things and she said he was good as gold like he just sat there he nearly like fell asleep he was so good um let like he hates me like really touching like the inside of his ears he'll let darren do it but not me um and she said he let him like let her cut like the hair in his ears and like he was really good around the face and all that sort of thing um so yeah he smelt so gorgeous um he was so super soft and fluffy i couldn't believe it when he came out um like all his curls have sort of been brushed out because if you look at him <laughs> come here puppy <laughs> if you look at him he has like really defined little curls and they were all brushed out and then obviously like as soon as he got wet in the rain like all his curls sprung back in it was really sweet um but yeah so i, I was pleased that um he was able to um he like he wasn't distressed or anything like going to the groomers so that was good he's booked in just before christmas so that would be really nice um like seeing the family and um him being nice and soft and smelling nice hey um along the lines of that he has a really extensive wardrobe i think if you are a first time dog owner um and you don't have children you treat your dog like your your first baby and we've definitely done that he has such a big variety of coats and uh jumpers he's got other he's got like a bandana for his birthday next month that we're gonna put on him he's got a little poppy bow tie for like remembrance day um obviously he's been wearing his halloween bandana and he's super good he just lets us put them on him and he enjoys it don't you like him we did get him halloween costumes i'll insert a little picture um he's okay with them um we don't leave him on him that long like literally just for a photo he's gonna wear it today because today is halloween um but yeah he's super good at letting us put things on him and he likes a little jumper and yeah so another thing i will say about his haircut we definitely get a lot of comments of people asking him like what breed is he is he like a cockapoo um like for ages we were like undecisive like are you sure he's not like a cockapoo or um like any sort of variety of that um but we definitely are pretty sure he is a poodle it's just the way he's cut we give him like a teddy bear cut so he has more of that puppy look it's very you either love a poodle cut or you don't and i'm 
we just don't like the poodle cut um we didn't mind him like when he first came to us but looking back he definitely was like really really sure and he definitely looked more like a poodle whereas now he looks more of like that crossbreed um he has more of that crossbreed look we get a lot of questions about that we get a lot of questions about his age people think he's like a puppy um but he's not although he still acts like a puppy he's just like sat here looking at me like oh just cuddle me mummy Mm, you smell good, Jess. So, obviously, he has evolved in the nickname department. Um, and he has pretty much, like, two solid nicknames now. He gets called Puppy a lot. Um, even though he's not a puppy, but he's a little puppy. And he gets called Sooty a lot. Like, a ton, don't you? And you respond to Sooty quite a bit. Um, it's probably, like, 50-50 that we call him Sooty and Baloo. Um... And yeah, we basically call him Sooty because we think he looks like he's been up a chimney and he's got all this soot over him. And like, especially because he's got like the little white patches, he's not like completely that like, um, he's not black, but he's like got this definite like dark gray, like when you put him in like sunlight or anything and certain lights, you can definitely see he's more of that bluey gray. Um, when you put him next to like my mother-in-law's dog who is a black labrador you can definitely tell that he is more on the gray side can't you and he's developed this like little brown bit around his mouth and i don't think it's completely to do with like getting dirty like from biscuits i think that is just the way he is what? What? another thing is he's become a lot more vocal um, he'll definitely whine and like let us know if he wants attention. Don't you? You wanna play? Oh look! Oh oh oh! Oh my god, bunny! Oh, I'll try and show you. What? What? You got bunny? Oh oh oh! Be nice to bunny. Be nice. Oh, I'll take him. Bye. But yeah, he's definitely got a lot more vocal and he will bark and whine at us. I like licking him now. Um, but yeah, so we do call him Sooty a lot. Yes, we call you Sooty. Um, what else? So we have moved him on to, I don't know if he had this in his one month update, but we did buy him one of those slow feeding bowls. So they are the ones that have like the really intricate like shapes in them. Um, and that's just so he eats slower. We found, um, that he was just like taking in, I think too much air and he was like starting to wheeze and like making those noises. Um, so since getting the slow feed bowl, he is a lot better at that. He still loves a little bit of cheese in his food, which I'm not thrilled about. But yeah, he literally, if we don't put cheese or turkey or anything in with his food, he sort of just looks at us like, I ain't going to eat that. So, yes. Have you just ripped his nose? Oh, dear. He also loves to, like, sleep on a blanket. Like, he's gotten a lot more... Like, I don't know if it's the cold weather, but, like, of an evening, he used to, like, run upstairs and just go to bed. But now he'll, like, sit with us and want to be around us. And, um, like, Darren will get the blanket and, like, he'll just, like, like, sleep in between, like, Darren's legs. And, um, it's really, really cute. But, yeah, he's definitely got a lot, like, cuddlier with us, um, of an evening. He had his first bath with us as well, so I took him on a, like a pretty long walk and he got pretty muddy because he's quite low to the ground. It's like, it was a, a thing that we all knew was going to happen, um, but yeah, he got a bit dirty so we had to have him a bath. He does not enjoy baths. I don't know how he got on at the groomers, but he would like whine throughout. Yeah, so he whined when I put him in the bath. He really didn't like it. I've bathed him twice now and he, like, he doesn't particularly like it. But, um, yeah, and he's not mad. Like, he, he'll let me, like, I use, like, a hairdryer and he'll let me. But, again, like most dogs, they're not particularly keen on it and they just want to run around the house and, like, rub themselves in the carpet. Um, his paw pads have got a lot softer. I don't know if that's because he's, like been now he's been walking more and like he's able to get like the natural exfoliant on them i guess but it's just, when we got him his paw pads were really scratchy and just like like a cheese grater um but now they're a lot softer and yeah i did try and put like 
balm on them to start with which I think helped to some extent but I think it's just a natural process that's happened his nose got a lot softer as well there was a time where like his nose was peeling bring bunny back come on then hey with bunny where you go go bunny <laughs> be nice to bunny be nice to him yeah, yeah. He tries to nibble when he's excited. Oh, oh, Blue. Oh, what have you got? Oh. And I think the last thing I will end on is um, when the postman comes. So when we have anything put through our letterbox, he runs to the door, he jumps up and he tries to tear our mail. Um, he's not done any like severe damage, um, but he has a problem with it and we're trying to work with him obviously to not do it. I'm, I'm hoping to try and do it so he like learns on his own not to do it. Um, if you have any tips for that, let me know um, because I don't really want to get a mailbox guard because um, I think they just look unsightly um but if you do have um any tips let me know at the moment we're just like obviously like telling him off and and like trying to prevent him from getting to the door um and he was pretty naughty the other day we came back from a walk and we were drying him and next door had a delivery from the postman and he managed to slip out my hands and he ran next door to the postman and like like sat there and like barked at him and like he didn't like bite him or anything but like he got oh he knew he was in trouble he got a complete telling off from me um i'm definitely like bad cop and darren's definitely the good cop in the relationship our postman's not necessarily said anything to us but i think he knows that we know he is a naughty boy for it um and um yeah he knows that sort of his bark is worse than his bite um, but I don't know what it is about the postman that he doesn't like particularly like I don't know whether he just associates that with the mail coming through the door or you know We obviously don't know what his past was like um, But yeah, that is Baloo's three month update And like obviously he's not three months, but that's like our three months of him being with us. You're gonna say goodbye Oh, oh, we'll take bunny up with us. Come here Oh, 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 we've got Bunny. Oh, oh, Blue. Oh, Blue. What's this? What's this? So, I think that's all we've got to say. From me, uh, Blue, and a very <laughs> wet looking Bunny, we will say goodbye and we will see you in our next video. Bye, guys. Hey. <laughs>